Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a fun card making process for you using some beautiful products from Christina Werner and Concord and Ninth. I'm going to be using a combination of the Mary Tree dies. This is a die set that you can see here. There is a coordinating stamp for some of these and I'll show you those in a little bit. I'm also going to use the Peace, Love, Joy frame dies. And I'm going to be using the Merry Greetings dies as well. I'm just going to use the stars on this die set, but look at the beautiful greetings. All of the gorgeous things that you can create with these sets from Christina and Concord and Knight. They're absolutely stunning. This is, of course, the Merry Greetings stamp set that coordinates with those dies. I'm not going to use that or this one, which is the Merry Trees stamp set, but I just wanted to show you those products and how there's coordinating stamps and dies. Now what I've done here is I've die cut out my card front using the Gina K Master Layouts 2 die. I've used the stitch die for my card front and I've die cut it from just a really pretty uh, soft navy color and I'm going in with some black soot oxide ink and I'm just going to go around the edges and I'm really just kind of creating trying to create a night sky impression here with the cardstock and the oxide ink. Now I've got a piece of Concord and Ninth blue cardstock here. I actually will link up to all of the paper and everything that I've used here in the description box below. But this is a light blue, I can't. I think it's called powder maybe, um, just a gorgeous blue. And I've die cut that with the Master Layouts layering die. And then I have the gorgeous piece sentiment here from that gorgeous Peace Love Joy frame die set. Now, what's really fun about this is there's many ways that you can use it, right? Because there's the, the intricate piece and then there's the, the background for it and then there's a border and then there's the, the you know, rectangle layering piece for the base. So I love that. And I really wanted to bring in kind of like a mustardy gold colored cardstock as well to this color scheme so that we just got kind of like some really, a really nice, um, not necessarily obviously traditional holiday colors, just kind of a little bit different. So now you can see that I've just die cut that with that same light blue, that uh, outline for the piece. And now the intricate piece that goes inside of that, I've die cut from that same navy cardstock that I used for my card front. So layering up all of these different pieces and it just makes this really gorgeous uh, greeting for my cards. I love that. Now this is, again, this is from the Merry Trees dies. So that die set includes the background die and then the intricate die that cuts out all the individual trees. So I use that mustard color for the backdrop and then I use Spellbinders glitter foam um, to die cut out those white trees and I just glued those on top and now I'm going to go ahead and adhere the trees down kind of like at the bottom because this is like like I said this is sort of like a nightscape that I'm trying to create here it's what I was going for I'm going to add some gold splatters this is the Yasutomo gold splatter watercolor and this is from Spellbinder so I'm just going to add that on then I'm going to go ahead and add my card front onto a white card card base this is an a2 size white landscape top folding card base and now I just have to add my greeting and I've popped the greeting up on some foam adhesive and I'm just going to add it onto the top and that is going to mostly finish off my card I die cut out three little stars using that merry greetings die set and I've cut those again from that spellbinders white glitter foam and those are just nice and dimensional in that way. I love that glitter foam and it comes in lots of different colors too. So it's, it's really fun too. It die cuts very beautifully. And I love these little stars. So I'm going to put those onto my project as well. And then that is going to finish off my project. Friends, I've linked up in the description box below to all of the products that I've used for my project today. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you will give my video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. And if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, I'd love to have you as a subscriber. And I'll see you again soon for more card making and scrapbooking videos here on Marie Clark Creations. Bye, friends.